How are you doing? Looking, are you recording inside our building? Yes, I am. Okay, take a seat. Uh, I'm looking to get an uh, officer complaint oh, for Take a seat. So, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right, Erie County fam, this video is about the chief of police of the Elmira City Police Department who was fired for inappropriate language of a body camera footage, but I think there's more to it and I will be on top of this story and we'll be looking into it, but we're, we're going to start off this video with the body camera footage that got the chief of police fired and then we'll talk about the chief of police after that, so let's get into it. We are in. a nationally accredited agency, we're a state accredited agency, and they review all of our policies, and that's within the accreditation statement, so. Yeah, I don't think, I think this process is a little tilted, I think. Listen, y'all, these kids want to act up in school, want to go to school in a battle shoe, want to make like they got no home training. So I told my son, don't go to school master no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're going to bash me like this? You no, know, so now I'm going to cut his hair. Oh, my God, that's going to be a thing. Hey, do me a favor. Now I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your ID on the field. You're not getting it. Don't oh, embarrass me. I told him, don't embarrass me. No. This is the body camera footage of the incident that got the chief of police fired. From the Elmira Police Department. I also, if you look in the left hand lower screen, it says provided by the Elmira Police Department. I think that's funny because we all know that was provided by the taxpayers. Um, the volume will pick up at the 30 second marker as most acts on body camera footage does. So let's go ahead and take a listen. And just like that, I'll shoot you in your fucking face, motherfucker, and the chief of police was fired. Just like that. Can you imagine if all police departments were that strict? Man, police mishaps would probably be at an end pretty quick. But I think there's something more to it. Let's watch the rest of this video real quick and then we'll get into it. Get on your stomach. Get on your Get stomach. Get on your stomach. I didn't even do anything. I didn't do anything. Okay, okay. Why are you detaining me? Oh, you ain't detained, brother. You're on arrest. Why? What did I do? You tell me. I didn't do anything. I got legs. Uh, 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 I don't know how the hell you cleared that car. Oh, uh, please. That was really impressive, you okay? No. What's wrong? Uh, Come up on your side and see if you're going to Pick that leg up for me right there. Oh, no, I'm that leg. Well, it's easy to breathe if you stay that way, okay? Take some deep breaths for me, all right? What's wrong? What happened? I don't know why you guys came to my house. Guys, I got a cord. The house. Was, I uh, never called 911. I'm sick. I don't feel good. I got a whole bunch of 911 calls from there. But I don't know how. I never called. I never called. Uh, uh, you got any, you got any knives or anything on your man? No. I picked that wheel on the way. You picked the what? I found that. What'd you find? On the sidewalk. When I was running. Nathaniel, that's your Just keep breathing, man. We got him. Just hang on. Just hang on. Hey. Just hang on. 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 Just
You want to stand up? Yeah? You want to sit on your butt for me? Sit up right there? No, I didn't even do nothing. You ready, Nick? Ready? One, two, three. Your foot okay? See a cut there? No, it's not okay. Let's one out back to watch the back uh, run. That's nothing. Just the drawers on? Yeah. Lift your hands back to hands up for me. Oh, yeah, I'm going to shit myself again. You shit yourself? Yes, because I got stomach problems. Okay. Let go of your hands there a little bit for me. Let me put that up your hand <laughs> Can I go home now since I didn't do nothing? I don't know what we're going to do with you. We're going to take a seat from here. Do you want an aim or something? You want me to come look at you? Oh, no. You sure? I just want to do a touch. Come on, this side of the door. I was scared. That's why I ran. Okay. I didn't do nothing. I'm in Hell, don't need to run, man. Yeah, huh? Cause you guys, I don't know what you guys are gonna do. I'll put this. Want to make sure you're okay. That's what we want to do. Well, I seen so many videos. Of you guys had your guns yeah. out. Can I see your foot? Yes. Yeah, Doctor, looking good for me and Don. Hey, his stuff is gonna be in your door pocket right here. Hey, I'll just go. Can you get that back, bro? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Some all right, I'm gonna go get yeah, Murphy to his car. You good? Are you good? Yeah, it's gravel. That was a run, baby. Yeah. Okay, hold on. We'll go ahead and review a article in the Star Gazette, which is Elmira's newspaper on the incident. Um, you guys can go ahead and read through it and pause if you need more time to read the sections. But there is something that sticks out on the very end where the chief here says that ultimately my beliefs cost me my job. Well, if the chief believes that his unprofessional behavior and yelling, I'll shoot you in the fucking face, is his beliefs, then he probably should have been fired. But there is something that brings to mind that I remember that I like this chief of police by a statement he put out after my First Amendment audit that I performed on there. Let's go ahead and take a look at his statement. Now, the Erie County fam performed a First Amendment audit on the Elmire Police Department on October 20th and then published the video on November 10th. And then on November 16th, the Chief of Police put out this memo about it. He wrote, the Elmira Police Department, along with several City of Elmira departments, received an audit from an auditor associated with the Auditing Erie County Organization. He received the footage and reviewed it and numerous emails and other things in regards to not having a written complaint form for the public to take home. And, you know, he admitted that it had some valid points. How are you doing? Are you recording inside our building? Yes, I am. Okay, take a seat. Uh, I'm looking to get an a officer complaint oh, form. Take a seat. So, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. I'm looking to get an officer complaint form to take home with me. Okay, What what is your issue? Because we've got a process that we follow. You don't, you don't have a form to go home? We, no, we don't have a take home form. There's no take home form? No. no. So if you want to sit down, we can talk. So the only way to... Uh, Get an officer complaint and be come down here and speak with another officer about the complaint. Or we could go to a different location if, different if you location. don't feel comfortable here. All right. Um, but there is no form we, we, do not, that we, we have a form that we fill out that a supervisor fills out as you speak with them. But but we don't have one that you can take home and mail in. Is there a reason why not? It's a policy. I think the policy is a little tilted. Well, I mean, Sometimes people are a little more afraid to come down here and... Uh, that, that's why we'll take less it in an alternate location. I mean, that's cool. It's the first I heard of that offer, that service offered, but I would just think that there should be a forum available. You know, somebody can come in, pick it up, and turn it we in. We are a nationally accredited agency. We're a state accredited agency, and they review all of our policies, and that's within the accreditation standards. So. No, I don't think that, I think that this process is a little tilted. I think that a conform on the outside provide a little more clarity for the department. Uh, frankly, well. your, your thought and my thought on the whole process is irrelevant. That's what our policy is. If you'd like to file a complaint, by all means, you can talk to me about it. 
If and you're, you're not a, you're a lieutenant? I, I am a lieutenant, but I'm an acting captain. Right now. Packard. Patrick? Packard. Packard. Like the computer, right. or the old car, depending on how old You got a badge number? Uh, 5275. Cool. So no form to take home. All right. That's all I need. All right. All right. After the exposure of the complaint process being that you can only do a complaint in person, the chief did go out and put this memo out and write further that he suspended the written forms in 2016 in an attempt to go green and uh, offer only complaints in person as if people wanted to only do that. Um, then he kind of corrected himself by saying that they're going to try to blend the two concepts together and it looks like they did create a new complaint form on the city's website to be printed up and be able to put in and he also went on to say that anybody who had a complaint against the police department could go to the New York State Attorney General, New York State Police, or the Shemung County Sheriff's Office to make a complaint about a police officer. Then after addressing the complaint form procedure, he went on to address the cigarettes in the wall. This must be the cigarette spot where they jam all their cigarettes. Here, employees. Gotta be so many feet from a building. I don't know how they're putting cigarettes out there. Here today is October 20th here, 2022, at Elmira City Hall. And this building is gorgeous, guys. It has got some structure, architecture like you don't believe. Seeing as they don't make buildings like this anymore, it was pretty disappointing to see cigarettes jammed into our building like that. The chief did go on to say that it was not a member of the police department. Those could have been left by his employees of the city, New York court personnel, homeless individuals, waiting Catholic charity services, or other city hall citizens visiting. But I think it's pretty clear that those cigarettes are put there on a daily basis. And if you look at the crack in that hole, they've been doing it for a while. It's definitely somebody who's working for the city, and it is outright disgusting behavior in our city building after that the chief of police went on to address the next issue that was founded in the audit which was the officer's police vehicle parked in the handicap spot i have a car see what they look like this thing looks like it's right out of london all my london viewers huh <laughs> Ooh, nice and clean in our car i like that I like that. While we were inspecting our police cruisers for the audit, they did notice the auditor in the parking lot and sent the officer out to move the car out of the handicap spot because he was illegally parked, as you can see. They went ahead and moved that out as I was inspecting the rest of the police vehicles at that time. So when we first came here, you see where that car was parked. Andy El Capo. Now the chief didn't make any excuses to why the car was in a handicapped spot. He just admitted that it was. And then he went on to address the Elmira Police Department is not nationally accredited. We are just New York State accredited. I just think that there should be a form available. You know, somebody can come in, pick it up, or turn it We in. are a nationally accredited agency. We're a state accredited agency, and they review all of our policies, and that's within the accreditation statement. So. No, I don't think that, I think that this process is a little tilted. I think they're a nationally accredited agency or a state accredited agency, and they review all of our policies, and that's within the accreditation standards. Now, the reason I brought all this up and pointed it all out is that it's not too often that after a First Amendment audit where we find some things wrong that a chief of police goes above and beyond and makes a memoir or addresses all the issues found in it and shows clarity in the government. So 
I thought that the chief was a pretty cool guy that he went above and beyond and did that when most places won't admit they did anything wrong, let alone address it to the public in a memoir. Which brings me back to the chief's statement, ultimately my beliefs cost me my job. Now, I don't believe there's anybody who believes that the chief should be yelling, stop or I'll shoot you in your motherfucking face at all, but I feel like there's more to this story, and mainly I haven't seen the chief speak out much about what his beliefs were that are above and beyond the swearing to get himself fired, because I know we've all seen in the community and policing that police get fired for just about nothing. They generally investigate themselves and find no wrongdoing, but I sure would like to follow up on this and look into it a little more, because I would like to know if there is more to it than just the chief swearing. So, chief, if you are listening, I would appreciate you to contact me by email and maybe we can have an interview to know if there is more to this story than the city is putting out that you have not been able to put out so my email address is on the screen here chief if you get a load of this video and you see it i sure would love to talk to you we live in society now where people want to recall how they discipline their child people that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child you can't you can't discipline your child in their room take something away from them if they act up well, i'm like son you can't play the game they're a nationally accredited agency or a state accredited agency and they review all our policies and that's within the accreditation standards you pull the constitution out of your pockets out here like that was supposed to prove something first amendment freedom of the press <laughs> Your name is not Dan Erie County. Um, this isn't Erie County. Yeah. Sure it is. I'm here as Dan Erie County. Legitimate? Maybe. Official? No. <laughs>